My friends, today we are talking some more about the letter X. X. I've got it written here, but I want to show you also that X goes down and down. That's uppercase. And remember, lowercase is just a little smaller. All right. Let's look at our I can statements. So repeat after me. I can identify letter sounds. Now, we talked we talked about the sound it makes is the k k We might say that it sounds like box at the end or extra um x-ray different words like that. Okay? So, we're going to look at the x sound today, okay? X. First of all, we're going to read our story my upside down world because mr x is upside down he does everything different than we do he is different but he's also special okay we've been talking a lot about how we should be kind to people no matter what it is very important to be kind to people especially or even if they are different because we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings we want everybody to feel like they're the same as we are okay my upside down world. Um, look at that. He looks so silly, doesn't he? He walks on his hands. He is looking at a cookbook so he can bake something. Okay. My upside down world. I live in an upside down house with an upside down cat and an upside down mouse. This is my upside down down world okay so where does he live in an upside down house you got it who does he live with well as far as people he lives by himself but he lives with his upside down cat and his upside down mouse I sit in a chair with my feet in the air this is my upside down world I stir with my feet while making a treat. This is my upside down world. I run to the door with my hands on the floor. This is my upside down world. I can sniff every flower that grows because they are so close to my nose. This is my upside down world. There's a picture. You know, she, she walks with her feet. He walks with his feet, and so he's sniffing of the flowers because they're so close. I sleep with my head to the foot of my bed. This is my upside down world. We know the foot of our bed is when we go to our, when we go to sleep, we lay down on our bed, our head goes on our pillow, and our feet go to the other end. Well, that's called the foot of the bed. Okay. Now um, what is different or what is extraordinary, there's a word with an X, about Mr. X. Now, what's different about it? The way he walks, the way he sleeps. Remember, he sleeps with his head at the foot or the end of the bed. Um, what does he do with his feet? Anything that we would do with our hands, he does them, but with his feet, okay? What does he do with his hands? Oh my gosh, he walks on his hands. Can you believe it? He walks on his hands. It's crazy, but that's Mr. X for you. Okay, now, I want to pretend something, okay? Um, use, our, use our imagination a little bit, okay? Now, Mr. X has a house. Now, we're going to pretend that in his house, he's buying some things, okay? He wants to put some things in his house. He's going shopping. Now, I'm going to throw some stuff there, uh, some, some stuff to you, give you some words. And I want you to tell me if you think that Mr. X would have this in his house, okay? He only wants things that have the X in them. So like, just being silly, okay? Would he want a fork? No, there's no X sound in it, okay? So, 
I have a, I have a list here. Let's see. Would he want a box in his house? Show me a thumbs up if you think so. Thumbs up. Would he want an ax? Thumbs up. Ax. It has that x sound in it. What about fox? Yes. He might even have a pet fox that we don't know about. Okay, what about a cup? Thumbs down. Okay. All right, so we were listening for the x sound, right? Okay, I want you to take a journal page and I want you to write a uppercase H, uppercase X, lowercase X, and I want you to um, have your grown up write these words that I wrote. They're gonna write box, ax, box, and cup. And I want you to circle the word or have them sh show them, tell them which word does not have the x in it, okay? Which one do you think does not have x in it, okay? All right. Thanks, friends. See you next time.